Hello, I'm Rona McAdam of Go Local Nutrition. I'm Halliburton Community Organic Farms resident holistic nutritionist and I'm introducing today a series of um, cooking videos that we just started. We wanted to make things easier for people who didn't know what to do with some of the vegetables they get in their food box or vegetables maybe that you pick up at farm stands or um, at farmers markets. So we're going to start with one that people seem to have some difficulty with, which is broad beans or fava beans. And I've got a really simple recipe for you called a broad bean pate. You could also call it a fava bean hummus. It's uh, super simple. It's really nutritious. It's got um, vegetarian um, protein and vegetarian iron. And vegetarian or non-heme iron needs vitamin C to be absorbed properly. So luckily it's got lots of lemon in it to do that. And I think you'll really enjoy it. It's quite tasty. We're going to start with um, a visit to the field where Noemi, the farmer, is picking the beans for us and talking a bit about how she grows them. And then we will move on into the kitchen and start cooking. Hope you enjoy it. It could, yeah, it should be firm, and even the pod gets firmer as well when it's ready. When it's like not quite there, you can feel how mm, smooshy it is. Yeah, it's kind of spongy. Isn't yeah, it? but now they're hard, and the the shell is like harder as well. So this is prime time. And I see you have a little bit of aphid action here. Yeah, we did. They love the sweet. The sweetness of the beans, I think. Yeah. What so, do you do about them? Do you just uh, harvest from those plants, or? Um. Yeah. Well, you see, I cut. I was cutting the the plant mm -hmm. from where the aphid started. Usually, I'll pull the whole plant out if it's really infested. Um. But this is the last time we harvest from them. We're gonna harvest everything that's on here for my street and then it'll be all done. And then you'll save some for seed I suppose? Yeah, the front part is going to be for seed. Okay. And so you don't we'll, have the, we'll, them, uh, we'll let them ripen a little longer and dry on the pod for the seed. Yeah. And you don't have any stakes or anything, you just let them grow? Yeah, well we tied them later in the year when their beans were getting bigger and they were starting to fall open and we tied them with string. So we're going to make broad bean pate or fava bean pate as it's also called. So we've shelled all these broad beans and this is a pound of broad beans and we're going to also put lemon in it. The recipe calls for lemon juice but I'm going to put chunks of lemon with a little bit of the white stuff. Um, the lemon like a lot of vegetables and foods that we eat um, keeps a lot of its um, nutrition in the peel so the the white part is actually full of calcium so it's a good thing to grind up if you've got a powerful blender. I've got some garlic that looks a little unhealthy because it was in the freezer. It was some I dug up from my garden and I kind of bruised, so I just popped it in the freezer and that's, this is a good way of keeping it. Um, and then we're going to have some nice olive oil to put in it as well. And we need some mint as well, which we're going to go and pick from the garden. So those are our ingredients. So we've got our cooked broad beans. They took about five minutes. And um, what a lot of people think is that you have to peel them out of these pods in order to use them. Whoops. <laughs> and throw them on the floor. Um, but you don't actually have to do that. The pod's full of fiber, so it's probably a good thing to be eating anyway. Um, but you can just whirl the whole thing together. It would look a little bit prettier if you peeled them because you just get the nice bright, bright green instead of some of this stuff. But we're going to do the whole food thing right now. 
And I've got the lemon in there and the garlic is buried at the bottom somewhere. And I'm just going to pour in 180 ml or about three quarters of a cup of organic extra virgin olive oil. And now we're just going to blend the whole thing. Depending on how powerful your food processor or blender is and how smooth you want it, you just blend it for as long as necessary. And that's still quite chunky, so we'll blend it a while longer. We've got it just about to the right consistency, and we're just going to throw the mint in just to stir. Because we don't really want to blend the mint, we just want it keep its individual flavor. I'll just put that on like so. And this is our beautiful broad bean pate, which is actually just basically a, a kind of hummus with a different flavor, which is quite delicious.